Question number eight, I've got the derivative. I've got a point. I'm asked to find the rule of the function. Okay, so dy dx equals x plus six square root minus x on two minus three on two. Therefore, y will be the integral of x plus six to the half minus a half x minus three on two dx, which means that y will equal x plus six to the three on two on 3 on 2, and the value of a was 1, so that's okay, minus a half x squared on 2 minus 3 on 2x plus some constant c. And I know that y equals 29 on 4 when x equals 3. Equals 2 thirds, 3, so 9 to the 3 on 2 minus a quarter, 3 squared, minus 3 on 2 times 3 plus c, which we got 29 on 4, equals the square root of 93, so that's 27, 2 times 27 on 3, minus 9 on 4, minus 9 on 2 plus c, 29 on 4 equals, 3 goes into that, 9 times 18, minus 9 on 4, minus 18 on 4 plus c, c equals 4 on 4, 4, 8 to 32 carry 3, 72 minus 9 minus 18, plus c is 29 on 4, 29 on 4 equals 32 minus, so c is going to be minus 16 on 4, c equals negative 4. So find the rule of the function, so y equals um, 2 thirds x plus 6 to the 3 on 2 minus a quarter x squared minus 3 on 2x minus 4. Determine the nature of the stationary point. Okay, so I've got a stationary point at Three twenty-nine on four. So I know that when x equals three, the gradient is equal to zero. I'm interested in finding the gradient before three, so for example when x equals zero, and greater than three when x equals four. And I know that the gradient equals the square root of x plus six minus, I've forgotten it already, x on 2 minus 3 on 2. And the gradient when x equals 0 will be root 6 minus nothing minus 3 on 2. 3 on 2 is 1.5, root 6 is bigger than 2, therefore that's going to be positive, therefore it's going to look like that. And m of 4 will be the square root of 10 minus 4 on 2 minus 3 on 2. So the square root of 10 minus 7 on 2, which is the square root of 10 minus 3.5. 3.5 squared is bigger than 10. Therefore, that's going to be negative. Therefore, it's going to be a local 